Hello, and welcome to episode 82 of Shampoo and Booze. Uh, you are watching us on YouTube, and please remember to subscribe and comment. It's youtube.com slash shampoo and booze. You can send us an email, send us your listings. We'd love to review your listings uh, over video. You can send it at shampooandbooze at gmail.com. And we have design services at notperf.com. So check us out, hear our advice, send us your listings. We have a super cute listing in Tennessee. It is an Airstream. This is the first sort of vintage Airstream RV that we've talked about. So this is super cool and cute. Let's check it out. Laurel in T Elizabeth Tun, Tennessee, um, near the Appalachian Trail and a lake. Sounds like an amazing location. Um, the first thing that we thought about, I like this first photo. I think it's cool to show that your Airstream is on like a concrete pad with a, you know, a structure over it. It's almost its own little house here. Um, I think that's a cool first photo. Yeah, it's great. It's like you're obviously really utilizing the outdoors. So it's like there's a lot of indoor outdoor activity in your area, obviously. So this is great. Um, the one thing that we noticed is there aren't any inside pictures in this first little gallery view. So we'd love to see some glimpses of the inside of the trailer before we get further along. Right. I think with this gallery view for the desktop, that first photo is great. And then this other four photos should be the inside. You get a glimpse of the outside. You see the Airstream. It looks all chrome and retro and vintage. And then let's just go right inside. And then we'll come back outside. Like there's, there's enough time to, to just go back outside. And I think that's fine. So we also noticed that it was $74 a night. And for some reason, Airbnb automatically chose June 6th through June 8th. We were kind of looking at that like, okay, $74 a night is a good price for definitely for June. I don't know why they automatically chose that for me, but we're looking through the calendar here. And so right now we're in February and February and March are totally blocked off. So you block this off in the off season, which makes sense for some people. Maybe you just don't get booked then. So. I would open up March. Uh, March for us is good as a, as a springtime season uh, where it's starting to get warm. People are going on hikes. Um, April, May, June, summertime is open. So that actually seems like a very good price for, for the spring and summer. So it's funny, Airbnb seems to redesign itself every couple of weeks um, and then sometimes revert back. So they're doing this thing. I've seen this on Zillow and Redfin too lately, where they give you also like the sort of collage look um, and you have to click through. So let's click through to the individual photo there. So that's the first photo. So as per usual, I'd love to see more in the description. Like, of course, we're seeing the entryway and, but it's like <coughs> we were saying as we were looking through, like, is this on your property? Is this close? Like, is this on a separate property? Like, what is this close to? So it might be good to give from the beginning a little orientation. Like, yes, this is obviously the front, the entryway, but is there a place to park? Is there, you know, do you come through a private driveway? Like anything that would orient. Yeah, I think it's good to put that in the text, like right away, because actually we looked through your listing description and I didn't see any information up top that said where this was in relation to your property. Because a lot of times Airstreams and vintage RVs and tiny houses are on someone's property. So is this its own property? Are you five acres away? We want to know. Okay, so again, like we said, you're showing the outdoors. You're showing the outdoors a lot, which I think these photos are good. Here's a sitting area. There's another sitting area. There's a barbecue. There's an outdoor shower that looks really cool. But let's just get right into the RV because I I'm I want to see what your RV looks like inside, and I know it looks cool because I've looked through the photos. So there's a fire pit, another outdoor photo. I think you can keep these photos. I think you just need to move them to the back. And I also think there might be too many outdoor photos, like this photo is a weird photo because we don't see inside the shower. I think there is an inside shower. 
image photo later somewhere yeah. yeah so i think that just use that one like we don't have mm -hmm. to see it twice although it is good that you say outdoor shower um shampoo shower gel provided and again for these photos i think it's good to put it after because you do have a shower inside the rv and me seeing this first i was like oh they only have an outdoor shower which is not true me having barbecue grills at all our rentals i'm like oh you you took this photo right when you got this because they get filthy <laughs> it gets so dirty <laughs> again i think you just have too many outdoor photos this isn't bad although this looks like a screenshot of a screenshot of a screenshot always use high quality images if you're gonna post them this is a better photo than like the three previous that showed all of the same things just use this one this one's great yeah, I think you can edit down these outdoor photos. I think that we can get a sense of the space quickly because it's not a huge space, but you can have better frame. Like this is a great photo that's framed well. You see the mountains in the background, like perfect photo. You see the RV on the side. The other thing I was going to note with the shower is it would be great if there was some kind of like little table or hooks or something i see one hook but like something to like put your showering accoutrement on it feels a little bit like the shower is just sort of stuck over there and it looks cool and interesting but it doesn't feel very functional i see hooks on both sides actually on the outside um and then there's that the wood stump on the side that has a vase on it and maybe that stump is what we want to put some stuff on and then maybe move the planter okay so we're 10 photos in and here's the inside and for the first photo here um i don't think this is a great first photo because we, we are really i know that this space is tiny and hard to take photos of like it's already hard to take a photo of a bedroom let alone an RV. So one thing that I was gonna note too, is that if, you ha if you're taking photos on your phone, if you can use a panoramic function to kind of get more sense of the space or borrow a camera from someone that has a wide angle lens, not like a super fisheye lens, but a wider angle you know, DSLR lens, that's gonna help you a lot. I also think this photo is almost not needed like it does not give us it gives us a little bit of information of the kitchen but then it's like a magazine rack i i feel like we're not seeing enough info here first off i would love to say that like i i love all the red that you've been using outside and in i feel like you're going with this vintage theme which i think is wonderful and i like your use of linens here to sort of spruce up the space and make it feel more modern so I feel like this is a good picture. It's important. I can see the bathroom. You know, I can see one of the two twin beds. Yeah, totally. And the fact that you're kind of hinting that your bathroom is the original bathroom, which is turquoise blue. Amazing. Yeah. So again, the use of red, I think is super cute. It's very 50s retro. Um, it's also good that you show all the stuff that you have. You have a toaster, you have a French press, you have a microwave. That's the fridge great stuff to have in your kitchen that people want to know about. I feel like this photo should be taken the other direction. Like this was taken portrait. I think it looks a little bit cropped, but I feel like if it were like this, you get the floor off the photo and you'd see more of the seats. You know, it gives you more of a like better scale of this space. This is so cute though. The clock on the side, is that original? That's amazing. Oh my God, it looks original. I'm dying though. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, and the lights on the, on the walls, and like I love that so much. It's, it's so cute. It also looks like the dining room table has like a map on it, which is cool. Like it looks like a resined over map. <clears throat> I actually kind of want a picture of like, is that a local map? That's kind of a, an interesting detail. Like normally we say, don't take pictures of details like that, but something like that might be like, oh, that's kind of interesting. Especially it seems like hiking is a thing in your area. So it's like, you know, what are the ways in which you're incorporating in the reasons why people are coming there? So that might be an exception to that rule. 
Yeah, I also think with a space this small, it's not even that you're going to do a little like cute, overly cute vignette, but that's a cool detail that's interesting where if you are planning your hike for the day, you're doing it on the kitchen table and that's a cool little detail for sure. The other thing I would say in terms of design, the one thing that sort of like eats at me from this picture is the pillows are really cute, but I almost want like a series of white pillows or a series of, you know, cre cream off white pillows, something that's a little bit more neutral because you have the checkered floor, you have the red and black cushions, and then you have this beautiful woodwork and the, all of this white. And I sort of want something to just like tie it all together and feel really cozy. But like the two kitschy pillows, it feels like it sort of takes away from how amazing and vintage that space is. So it's like if you could make something, we like to use linens, we like to use like throw pillows are great for a situation like this where it kind of softens up the space, but it doesn't take away from how amazing that woodwork is or, you know, all of the design choices that you've made. It's funny that you mentioned those pillows because I feel like those pillows are a little bit too kitschy, like you said, a little like grandma kitschy. I think they'd be okay outside. It might be cute outside on one of the um, chairs or something. Um, but in here, this space, like we said, it's very dramatic. Like it's almost like the, you have that wood teak cabinet with a built-in clock and those lights and the checkerboard. Like there's a lot going on mid-century sort of retro kit, not kitsch, but like retro throwback. So like Ashley's saying, those, the, that detail throws it out. It's like those, those pillows are like, too much of like a, like a 1950s hamburger joint type style. But without those, I feel like we, we do this space justice. So it's like that tiny little detail just like pulls it out of your sophistication. Oh, you're still hinting. So it's good that this photo shows both of the beds, like here are the beds next to each other. But I feel like we need like a, almost like a bird's eye view. Like I know it's hard to take photos of this space. <clears throat> I almost feel like we just need one picture from the back looking one direction and then another picture from the other side looking the other direction. Just like one, two, that's like the first, those are the first two photos you see. So you can be like, here's the entire space instead of chopping it up in a way, because it's, it's honestly hard to orient in such a little space to, to understand like, okay, this is a second picture of the same thing. And now we have a little bit more information, but not all of it. Yeah, I agree. And you can go back and give the details front, back. Okay. Here's the dining room. Here's the beds here's the bathroom, you know, like you can go back and do that. But, but the first two photos, I think you're right, orient us as to like what's going on here. Again, like we've seen this already from a different angle. So it's, we're not getting more information. It's just another detail shot, which I don't think you need it again. So this is a great shot of the kitchen. Oh, it's amazing. I it's feel like so cute. <laughs> it's just, it's like you can't find airstreams that are in this shape. Yeah, and I know that you probably did a lot of work to it, but the you kept a lot of the original stuff. That sink and that stove look original. And so what do we think of this sign? I actually think this sign is really cute. People are going to hate me. I know. <laughs> They're like, you like signs or you hate them? Which one is we it? Okay, let's be clear. We like signs when they're coffee related, okay? okay. You feel me? <laughs> Not always, but like, okay, so she has one. It looks like this is one sign. Yes. It's in the kitchen, it's themed towards her retro vintage theme, and it's the exact same colors of her theme. So she kind totally. of worked it in. She perfectly. did. She incorporated it in a perfect way. Do, do, can you tell what it says on the bottom of it? coffee you can sleep when you're dead <laughs> I love that I think that's hilarious I think the sign stays I'm I'm a fan 
I think it's decent. Also, I want to read it better. There's got to be exceptions to the rules. There's exceptions. So that's an exception. Um, I want to be able to read it better because like I had to zoom in to read it. So I don't know. Maybe that's another detail photo. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's that we get like a head on picture of the whole kitchen because it seems like maybe it's to the back of this or maybe it's to the left of this where the refrigerator is and of the other appliances that we saw so i think it's on the other side like you would turn around and the fridge would be there this is speaking from experience because our mom had like three different trailers when we were going up <laughs> it's true okay so i feel like this could be shown earlier when you're showing your photo of the microwave and the toaster etc because it's like there are too many photos, like just get it all in, in one photo. Like, it's cool that you open this and you're like, here's all, cause I wouldn't have even known this was here. I wonder if on the other side, if you have a long length mirror, cause that would actually be a good idea in here. Or maybe it's on the bathroom door. It yeah. would be good to have a mirror in here mm. somewhere. This is another, I feel like we could, uh, we could make a, a whole gallery of these, but this is another photo where somebody's shoes I noticed like that randomly on the floor. So this is like I I I don't know why we see so many of these. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> move the shoes. Get the shoes out of there. Yeah, it's good that you have storage. I know RVs are teeny teeny tiny, and um, this is this is good that you have this, and it's good that you show it. And you're like, look, spices, mugs, uh, you know, tin foil and, you know, snack bags. We have those at our rentals all the time too. So that stuff is very helpful. I feel like I'm only seeing two bowls and two mugs. So I'm hoping you have more. Um, cause if you can accommodate four people in this space, four people in air quotes, um, <laughs> two people and two dogs, maybe <laughs> two people and like two small children. Now, what you can do also is maybe in your uh, caption, you just say pantry. Maybe you say there's stuff for, you know, there's six sets of things or something. Do we need to see the inside of the fridge? Maybe. No. I don't know, because some people don't understand how small a fridge like this. But don't, maybe they do, because these are hotel fridges, basically. Like, when you go to a hotel and there's a fridge in your hotel, this is how big it is, right? So I think it's like the picture is close to the one we saw before, which is the fridge, the microwave, the coffee maker, the toaster, just list all those things out. People will understand like no one's staying at this uh, trailer for like three months. You know, it's like you, you need a weekend's worth of food to fit in a fridge. Or if they're staying for a week, they just need to go to the grocery store a couple of times. Like that's just right. their, their cold stuff is just not very much, you know? And there was a cooler outside, which is where you put your sodas, your beers. Yes. And you put that in the description, like cooler right. available outside for, you know, right. your cold beverages. Point that out because someone's going to want to know that. Okay. I feel like we should have seen this a lot earlier, like that, that there's a TV here and this is like pretty far in that we didn't know you had a Roku. That means you have internet. Uh, I feel like that should be said super upfront and super in bold because I assumed you didn't have internet here, um, which I shouldn't have assumed that, but I did. Well, yeah. it's a trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's a trailer, but it, you know, it's it, I'm also too many assumptions. I'm assuming it's on your property. So you're able to get a signal out to the trailer or close by through like a Wi-Fi extender or something. Um, but we still don't know that. So that's information that you want. Like we've seen in other listings and like we always suggest, do a little drawing or an overhead, you know, Google Maps thing where it's like, here's our house, here's the driveway to the trailer and here's the, just, just orient us because when yes. I get here, I want to know where am I going? So yes. I'm glad you have a little Roku TV. That's, that's amazing. I would assume that that would not be in this trailer. Oh, this should be like the third photo because it's, it's amazing, incredible, original bathroom, turquoise blue, seafoam green, whatever you want to call it. Okay. But here's the thing. So I'm, I love this, love this, love this. And it feels a little bit stark. Like I want to feel like it wasn't just like 
cleaned and then there's like one thing of soap like I would love a little glass cup in that toothbrush holder and you know maybe there's like a nice little hand towel that's like right right below the sink or you know something that just makes it feel like this is like actually a used lived in space and it's not just like right off the trailer lot or something you know right uh I I agree like I see you use everyone soap which is what I use too um it's great it's all natural it smells good you can buy it on Amazon buy it at Target wherever um Walmart has it the thing about this photo is number one it's amazing because it's original but number two I feel like that's where the wide angle lens comes in because There are details down below where I'm seeing um, towel racks, which you could show like a cute little vintage towel or a white towel or something to make it feel cozy. And there's like the same pattern on that cabinet is on the sink. And I'm like, this is amazing design wise. I want to see all those things. So if you have a wider angle lens or a panorama or, you know, like you kind of go across like this we'll see those details and it it feels more comfy. Like Ashley's saying, like you have a towel, maybe you have a little tiny box of tissues up there. You might not keep it there all the time, but just give it a little bit of life there where it doesn't, like you said, just look like there's nothing in there. Uh, It's amazing by itself, but it, it looks pretty stark. Okay. So there are your tissues. Look, you do exactly what I say, back of the toilet, tissues, room spray, and like if you put lotion in there or something. But again, wide angle lens, like I know this bathroom is tiny. I know it is tiny, but um, let's try to see more of it if we can, if you have a better panorama or a wide angle lens. Also, this is a good place to say, like, is this a working shower? Is there a reason you have a shower outside? You know, like, just to orient people further, like still, you know, it's a working shower, use this one or the outdoor one, you know, just to, so people understand what they can and can't do in your space. I love that you have an outdoor shower because if there are really four people, four adults staying here and you just came home hiking and you're barbecuing, yeah, someone's going to want to take a shower outside and inside at the same time, blah, blah, blah. So it's good to show this, but this is not a great photo. It's good that you have hangers too. I don't mind this, but I agree. I think it just needs a wider shot. I, 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 you know, it's like we love seeing what amenities are if it's not like taking away from other information. Um, But if it could be a little bit, I mean, again, these are the hardest pictures to take because you're just like in this tiny little space. Yeah, but it is good info. Like, I think you should keep this, but it's like, I want a little like back up a little bit to take the photo if you can because I know this is a small bathroom now I did want to ask here in the bathroom is there a mirror Mm. and if there's not a mirror in the bathroom is it inside the medicine cabinet and if there is not a mirror here where in the space is there a mirror I'm assuming it might be on the back of the bathroom door but the bathroom door might be one of those like accordion doors that they have in RVs that are like plastic. Um, So show us where the mirror is, if there's a mirror somewhere. So this is the last photo. So I think like we were saying, you should take some of these outdoor photos and bring them to the back. Like bring us on a little tour on the inside first and then go back outside. The other big one for me is because this says this sleeps for people, if you sort of sift around in your listing, it says that the dinette turns into a bed, which is very typical in trailers, like where many people are already familiar with that idea. But if I were staying there with my sweetie, you know, what do we collapse the table and make it into a, like a sleeping situation? Do we sleep on the twin beds? You know, so it would be great if you are providing that dinette as a sleeping area to show a picture of it put together as a bed. Um, And then to say somewhere, whether it's through the pictures or like really prominent in your description, like how are the sleeping arrangements set up for people or, you know, like, do you do that? Do they do that? 
So it just should be really clear <clears throat> if you're sleeping for people, how you facilitate that. Other than that, I mean, you have an amazing Airstream. I think it's beautiful. You have great style. Everything looks super clean and cute. So I think just with a little touch up of your photos, it's great. Yeah. And one picture I feel like we're missing is like, I want a picture from the outside of the roof of the area trailer. onto the trailer. Like, yeah. obviously you have a gorgeous Airstream and the only picture we see of it is this little end yep. picture. So like, just show us the whole thing. And like, maybe that's your front picture is like, right. we get to see this like beautiful Airstream. And yeah. Then get into the details of it but I feel like we're really missing that like wow that long like chrome exactly. shiny because that's the beauty of an airstream it's not that uh fiberglass you know that we grew up with we had like a 1970s Shasta like fiberglass thing like the airstream is so mid-century like 1940s 1950s so let's see that chrome you know smooth beautiful thing that is an awesome listing we want to see your listings you can email us shampoo and booze at gmail.com or leave a comment on youtube it's youtube.com slash shampoo and booze you can also see our design services not per.com if you want to actually pay us to look at your listing and not be on video you do not have to be on video if you don't want to Okay, that's it for this episode. Bye. Bye.